but as for the the massacres themselves they developed uh situationally they weren't directed by Machno, and there's no proof that Machno himself was uh, directly involved in these massacres. Um, however, the violent rhetoric and the class-based ideology around the movement helped in, in shaping how that violence was expressed. In Eichenfeld, uh, the, the massacre uh, involved uh, over 80 people and on, on the night of the massacre. Um, but it it uh, ended up being over 100 people over the next week that were killed. Many women and girls were raped as part of this. And the origins of it uh, were most likely due to land disputes, uh, access to certain pastures, forests, water, that and such. Um, it was also, Mahtavis justified it uh by the presence of a very effective self-defense unit in the village. So they were trying to root out uh, this self-defense unit. And there was also a large-scale uh, troop movement of Machnevis uh, right at that moment um, between Zaporizhia and Dnipro. So as they were, as the Machnevis were passing through, they were, it, the evidence points to that they were enlisted by local peasants to sort of take out this, this particular village. Is in terms of the pattern of murder that occurs uh, in Eichenfeld, uh, it's very clearly targeted at land-owning males and their sons over 16 years old. Um, a few women are are killed, but uh, in general, the women and children are are left alone. Also, uh, poorer Mennonites were left alone, so those who didn't own land and those who were laborers or teachers. Uh, were, were generally left alone. Um, survivors of the massacre, even there's, uh, there's, there's sources that talk about them seeking refuge in the homes of, of uh, poor Mennonites and, and Ukrainian peasants as well, um, because they knew that they wouldn't be harmed if they went to these homes. Another massacre that occurred uh, in December was in Zagradovka. This one was even larger. It, in, it involved 200 Mennonites being killed over three days, uh, and it was far more indiscriminate. Uh, women and children were killed, and once again, there's many reports of, of rape. Um, it also involved land disputes and also involved the presence of a self-defense unit. One of the interesting things, though, about, about these massacres is that you also have eyewitness reports of seeing German and uh, Mennonite, uh, Germans and Mennonites participating in the massacres themselves as well. So having joined up with Machnavists. In the, for instance, in the Zagradovka uh, massacre, one Mennonite source says that, that one of the leaders of the Machnavists was a Mennonite himself or former Mennonite himself. So this, it's a very, uh, messy and complicated situation at the ground level as to, to you know, each individual's reasons for participating in it and that. But so there's sort of a, a coming together of many factors that create this violence in, uh, in the fall of 1919.